Hello, 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 good night, good night, Beavers, good night, Dan, good night, DeAndre, how you doing? Happy Mother's Day, because Mother's Day is still going on until the end of the month is still Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. There's a lot of people who sent me Mother's Days. It's more than my finger could answer. So I goes out on the live and said Happy Mother's Day to everybody because, you know, I can't go one 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 on one to do that. So Happy Mother's Day. And, and I'm asking none of my divas, please don't feel like you're left out and Queen Olive don't want to s s say hi back to you. It's a lot of thing I have to do. I have the um the Facebook. I have the Instagram. I have the um YouTube. I has the WhatsApp and I has instant messages. Everybody sent me out Happy Mother's Day, which I appreciate it a thousand times. The Mother's Day um, greetings from my divas. Hi, Suki. I hear you're going to party. Suki, I hear you're going to party. Andre, good night. Good night, everybody. So, Happy Mother's Day to everybody. And please don't feel left out. I am like I'm not a good person. You see, I'm telling you about as soon as I started to do the live, the first thing it you. Is your nose. Let's go this way. That's the, the light don't shine into the mirror. I'm sitting on my bed. Yeah, because I'm feeling a little tired and drained from over the weekend. You know, a lot of stuff to do. You know, I'm start preparing up for my high Dora. <coughs> Hello, we party with the new music. The new music, um, they're having a party for the new music that's coming on right now. Yep, <laughs> big up yourself, <laughs> big up yourself, each and everybody. Yeah, as we say, it's a rainy night, my dear. I was coming on the train and I just said the whole place just get dark, dark. And by the time the place get dark, the breeze start blowing, the breeze and the wind start blowing and all kind of thing. Things flying all over the place. And I'm telling you, it gets so scary. It's like night, like the day became night. I'm telling you, see, my nose itching me. It's a nervous thing. Shine it, big up yourself. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's 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 an habit. Everybody, when they're doing the live, or uh, if you're doing a talk show, anything, you're always itching your nose. It's an habit. Okay, I'm still going to repeat that over and over. Hi, Alicia, how you doing? Yeah, rain, lightning, and thunder. Thunderstorm, yeah, we have it over here too. Mm -hmm. So it's raining, it's raining so much. I said, I decided so I'm going to go to the supermarket, pick up some little snack in the house because, you know, in case we cannot come out, we want snack in the house because, you know, Queen Olive don't stock up this house with food unless I am doing my cooking as usual. So when I go there, I soak right through my, I have a hat on my head, and I have my coat on, my shoes, my pants. Everything soaked right through with the rain. I'm telling you, I don't know what is going on, but there's something is going on in the whole entire world that our Father God there don't approve of. So He giving us lightning, He giving us rain, He giving us thunderstorm, and also you know it's time for us to stop wearing coat. If we wear coat today, tomorrow we out of coat. By the next day, we're in coat back again. We have to be wearing coat because the time gets cold. Sometimes it's hot. In the morning, it's it's warm. In the evening, it gets so cold. You know, the weather is lovely. It is good because I like it like that. But apparently, we don't know. And then, you know, when you you know you have tenants, they oh, I'm so cold. I'm so cold. I'm so cold. Like they want me to turn on the heat every time it gets cold. Get under your blanket and warm yourself up because I'm not going to turn on um the heat. They said by law... By law, if um in Feb in April fifteen, if after April fifteen and it is still cold, you could turn the heat on. But no, it is we are in May, and um every other day it's cold and hot, cold and hot. So I can't turn. I'm doing good, um Larry. I'm doing good. So I can't um turn no heat on at all. So everybody have to still have their blanket ready for when we get a little cold time because really and truly. I like it so when it's when it's when it's um it's warm it's cold I don't like it when it's hot because you know in every way you take it you have to do it big up yourself in every way you take it you have to um pay money because when it's winter time we have to use the heat and when it's and then when it's summertime we have to get with the AC and fun and all kind of things so any way you take it is money spending still but when like, like this time here now I'm not gonna um put no heat on so we just have to just go. 
we have to just go with it last just like this and use our thingy so it is rainy and you know rainy time you know people like to cuddle up under them one another so ladies divas and then lord my dear child and now put on a big heavy night in this put on a little sexy chick 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 nighty eh? and and doing a thing you know sometimes these are the time that people make babies you like a lovey 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 dubby up thing enjoying yourself while you going to the bed and okay you know so long as the bed is nice and clean and fresh you smuggle around snuggle around snuggle around anything can happen so okay what's going on <laughs> so okay john big up yourself how is thing john how is thing you see a friend singing up song and just like um monster baby <laughs> <laughs> Monster baby, when the woman sing the woman like I can head taking the woman. Hey, if this is hey, the intro call I have today, okay, let me see this. This is my ringtone. You're my ringtone. Hello. Hello. Hi. <clears throat> Those are the disgusting people as soon as I started to live. They call him. Yeah, so um I'm not interested in hearing nobody because I I don't know that number. Friend of mine, I shouldn't answer that number. Yeah. Where is Akim? Where is Akim? I know where Akim hiding, so I think we have to sing a song. Where is Akim? Where is Akim? I was on live Sunday and I haven't seen him, but I think he's okay because he called me today to find out if I'm okay. So, um, he's good. He's good. I think he put up his auntie says his auntie birthday. I think I'd see that up, but I don't know where I'm at. Literally, I don't see him on, on, the, on the line. So, people, them so in storm, we have to buckle up with everything. So, that's how we may get thunderstorm, lightning thing. I think it's over. It finished. But in, 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 in future, we have, um, we we get we get everything put together our candle and with a little snack and our all our important documents then we we'll put them together that in case of there's anything we have to leave the house they have to take us away from the house we have all our important document in one place and have a candle and we have your warm thing you know pack a bag pack a bag for a disaster we have we, we always have a disaster bag Yes, yeah, so everybody pack them disaster bag and have it ready. That's in case if anything goes on because we don't we, we can't predict what is going on right now. Because um LA is on live right now, people. Mm-hmm. I was just asking somebody for LA. Suki, what happened to LA? I was just asking somebody what happened to LA and now see it's it showed that he's on live. Yeah. Um it's almost hurricane um hurricane season. Oh it's hurricane season now. So let's have every little thing packed together and please some of the mothers when they get um when things happen they run for God so they have a husband and children in the house run left them. I know when times certain situation we do, reach us we get so panic we do the, the the most stupid thing. If we say we go and if we, we notice so we are go join, we are go hold on and this and hold on and that when that situation reach you forget about hold on and this and hold on and that and run gone but let's just keep our heads straight and just think about what um what is going on right now because i mean so many things is going on it's going on and on and on so many things we see going on people fighting people people killing people people stealing people baby people doing so much things and doing on the unnecessarily things they are going on the facebook and doing Talking about people, talking about what people have or what people don't have, and talking about putting up people private business on the phone, people telling lies that people rape them. I don't know if if the rape is true or the rape is not true, but there's so many things has been going on. You know, the the, the, the Father God that he that has made us is not we made ourselves. It's God that who has made us, and so many things is going on. Sometimes I think he's he's not human being like us. He's a is a spirit. That we pray to him and ask him for help. Hello, Archie. How you doing, sweetheart? The key, my big up yourself. Sometimes he just said, Lord, let I just give them water. Let I give them fire. Let I give them breeze. Let I give them coal. Because, you know, there's so many things he don't know how to, we don't know how to thankful for what he's given us. And and so he just said, probably I'm just saying that he said, 
I'm just fed up now with these people. Because so many things, they are like, they are like Delilah. They are killing people. They are talking about people. They are hurting them one another. Even the, some people hurting their mother, their sister, their brother, their loved one. They do all kind of things. Good night, Margaret. Good night. Yeah, so um, we, we, we just have to just pray. We just have to just live one day at a time and pray and ask God for just forgive us for some of the things that we have done because nobody's innocent here on the line. Nobody's innocent. A lot of people do things and serve about for what they have done. But the most important thing that if you have done anything, you ask God to forgiveness. He will He will forgive you. But when you do something and bragging and boasting like you're, 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 you're macho, there is now no forgiveness. Like some people kill a baby, rape or do something. And they come back and ask for forgiveness. God, they ask God. Because sometimes we don't know what is going through a man's head or a woman's head. We don't know. So a lot of people do things which is unnecessary, what not supposed to be done. So it is raining and it's breezy. And it's I think it's all in the 51 state. It's not only here in Brooklyn. It's not only in Georgia. It's not in Connecticut. It's all over. You have the rain. So be careful. Be careful. Um, again, when you say puddle of water, don't let your kids walk in the puddle of water. Because I remember when I was a kid going to school, every time that we have rain, someone always die because they say puddle of water and they're playing and walking in and they are sucked away in a manhole. We have to be very careful. And you know we can't too too careful or too good because when things um is gonna happen, there's nothing we can do to stop it. Nothing, nothing. If even now two person having an and verbal conversation, you tell them finish, don't do that, don't do that, and just end up that's one call the police, and when one call call the police and the police come, there's a different different situation again and things went down wrong so you know we have to be careful in anything we we are we, we do which we, we have to try to be careful and we are we have to learn to be kind and mean to the one another yes i'm here in my house sitting in my bed because i do not feel like sitting nowhere else but in my bed because there's so many things um, I has to do during the day. I have to get up and go, you know, and I cook. Uh, oh, it looked like I know it, um, it was rain because after I finished cook this morning, I see where they show that we have storm is coming. So I make some soup. I make some chicken soup this morning and I ate. And I think I over ate so it let me feel lousy and thing before I go to the city. And then I come back. Yes, all over, all over the fifty, um, the fifty-one state in America, um, it's raining. So we have to just be very careful. And like the rain and the breeze and everything going on, we, um, a lot of people you see with their umbrella. And the umbrella just blow away and break up in pieces. We have to be careful, you know, because some people with the umbrella could stick out your eyes, it blows away, it could hurt other people. So we have to be very careful in whatever we do. So it's better off we are um the the thing they call name the pancho, that is good. Yeah, they say it's a tornado. Something about a tornado is coming. Yes, that's what they say. So, let's pray, everybody. Let's pray. Let's pray for the better. We're not praying for worse. Let let's pray because we don't know what. I'm, because God answer prayer. Okay, so after he, everything done and do. He go back and he go down in the knee and ask him for, for for um to help us. Pray for the whole the whole entire world, not for only you yourself alone. Pray for all who you never know. Ask him to take away the rain. Like I'm sitting right here and I'm looking in my backyard. My backyard is flooded with water. Um, uh, see I look right there. It's flooded water, but um I buy a pump. The pump is very expensive. But it's very good. It's a small thing. It's work in water. It doesn't work without water. So if I get a flood in my basement or I get a flood in the backyard, I use the pump to pull away the water. Because my backyard is not level enough. Who did it? They didn't do it good. I other 14 yards of cement, they give me 12 yards. Because poor men don't know nothing about yards and how much this. So when they work and done the end of the yard, the cement didn't 
never reach there. So the water is like a hump like there. So I have to go back to order more cement to let the water run straight to the street. So I have to get a pump so that the water don't goes to the basement. But by the help of God, everything will be okay. Because as I go back again, I said nothing beat, nothing beat prior. And ladies, my divas, I'm a done. Boy, me that for really come to the life today because eh, me no know. Me no know where Amaria do. Who can tell me where Mar Amaria do? Who can really, really tell me what Amari doing? Hi, Arlene, how you doing? How you doing, Arlene? Big up yourself, blessing, blessing, enough love to everybody. Boy, me see her, the lady that they are singing, and the lady start to say, she's speaking in tongues. And start a cuss bad word and the song she has seen. Somebody said it to me, Pete. I couldn't help it. I bust out a laugh. Probably Kenny must think so me I get mad. But I pay mad this me say I go on. You can't tell me so one woman can't give up until now. Hmm? May yeah, I tell you? So ladies, divas and then how was the all Mother's Day? I mean, say no, everybody are sure for them mother, show up their mother. Mm -hmm. I show up my mother, but um, apparently, mm -hmm. you know, everybody know my mother is gone. She's not here with me no more, but still me show my mother how she was. She was a lovely woman, a nice woman, a God-blessing woman. She loved to cook just like me, but you know, she's no more longer here with me, but I still show up my mother. But I say everybody's showing up their mother and showing up their gift and showing up their this and showing up their that. That is so awesome that, you know, um, we have our children and they cares about us and they show their love and appreciation for a mother. They give out their mother gift and they give their love because if they didn't have love, they would never at least even to put their mother up to say, well, this is my mother or my queen. And also they give gifts. So it was wonderful. It was wonderful because in uh, my days growing up, my days growing up, my Mother's Day was blessed. That, that's good, uh, Arlene. You know, my days growing up when I was growing in Jamaica, um, me never know nothing about Mother's Day, America. Me come, come know about Mother's Day. I'm being honest. I'm not going to lie here. Me come know about Mother's Day, Father's Day, and um, Halloween. All them little hol holidays that's coming up, and Valentine's Day, all them things. I, mean, I never know nothing about that in Jamaica. Yeah. Hi, Izzy. How you doing? Izzy, you getting ready? For the party is it are you getting ready for the party i'm still waiting on my hair is it for you to send me my hair yes first mother's day so i felt good and i have a great mother's day yes my dear um alicia me know say you feel good because the proudest mother in the whole universe is you hi patrick singh how you doing you're back <laughs> great thanks to you yeah is it i'm look i'm waiting I'm waiting. When I get off the line, I'm going to call you because I have to give you my address to send me my hair for my birthday party. Sabrina, good day, good night, good morning, wherever you're at in this, in, 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 in this world. I don't know if you're England, Germany, or where, but I'm here in Brooklyn, New York, and I'm just having a little chit-chat before I go to my bed. Yep, because it is raining. It's the rain come on and off, on and off. The rain is going on and off. And um, the breeze was very bad. So when I get off the train, I was like shocked. I said, Lord, this is going to be rain. Yes, people, me tell you know the allergy are dummy. I said, say, thank the Lord, my nose did big. Because if the nose is small, the nose that drop off long time. Because so the way I itch the nose and twitch the nose, the nose feel like it broken, especially right here. Feel like it broken. So a lucky thing say it big. If it is small, me don't have to have a bandage over it. So me like oh you're in Texas. Texas in the building. Big up yourself. Oh I know that Patrick. When I start this show I said if Patrick don't come on here and tell me say it is a no pun tonight tonight. There's no anybody gonna say that. Patrick love it when it's rain. So the no Patrick is what? <laughs> and the air on the top coolie when they talk about cool, they say cool, they have white liver. <laughs> white liver. <laughs> so Patrick say love it when it's rain. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, I like it when it's rain too. I like it when it's rain, it's no problem. 
and you know to all the people them who are living and they are living and when it rain when it's rain they they worry and fret because it, the house gonna lean. <laughs> what go on? Everything good. Everything good. Yeah. Um. Some people don't. Um. When it's rain, they worry because their house leaking. They have pan all over. Set all, all over in the house. Some people doesn't have nowhere to live. Some people living on the street. Some people living in the hospital. As I say, so some people really don't. When it's raining, they really really worry about rain. You understand? I like it when it rain because you can sleep very comfortably. Although sometimes as the rain finish the place just get so hot. Because today it was so hot. I go to I went to Manhattan and I has my armor um, jacket on. And as I reached there, I try to take my jacket off and it stick to my body because I has on the um you know the leather jacket with this silk thing inside. So um a lot of people when it's rain, they don't like it. Because they don't have nowhere comfortable to go rest. Nowhere comfortable. And as I said to each his own, everybody do what they want to do. Who want living comfortable, who want dressed up and go on the street and don't have nowhere to live. That's their business. We can tell people how to live their life. So, one love to each and every one of my diva. Be careful on the street because of object been bl blowing from building. Scaffold, what they are building, the scaffold has been, um, some of them fall down. So, all kind of thing. <laughs> now, staying, I am going to do some playing while while it's raining. Okay, Patrick. Yeah, so be careful. We can we can be too careful. We have to just when we're walking, we look wherever we go. You know, a lot of people always when they go and they have the um the earpiece in the ears like this. They don't care what is going on behind them. They don't look or nothing. So. Be careful of the um Yeah, some of the people they're not looking where they're going, so be careful of where you're going. Be careful of you walking puddle of water because a puddle of water can be a broken road um broken hole and you don't know you're walking they hurt yourself. And um okay, Alicia. So always have food in your house. Always a food because remember the the um the store people the shop people they live somewhere too and they want to be home and warm just like we so just be careful of where we go and what we do and have food in the house especially we have our candle we have our matches and we have our standby generator like Patrick has his standby generator I don't have one so if 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 we get a blacked out and thing um. If she, if you get a black coat, you can just use the standby generator, which I don't have one in my house. So Patrick have one, probably easy have one. I don't have one because if you have, I don't know how to operate it. Yeah. So have everything and all your important document them. You have them put together. That in case of there's anything, you could grab that and for rescuing when you get everybody come to rescue, you grab that and you go. But we could find back everything. We could get back all our important documents, you know. But at this moment, we we always said get keep that, get a flashlight, get some candle, and have everything ready if there's any disaster. Because disaster flash in a wink. In a wink. Prim good good rose. Big up yourself. Mm. <laughs> Patrick says only standby is his is his live blanket. Okay, Patrick. Cause we know you're gonna come with something, my dear. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Patrick, I need you to call me tomorrow. Patrick. I need you to call me tomorrow. Yes, people. So Queen Olive just come come say hi to everybody because you know I have to like get a lot of People send me out Mother's Day, Mother's Day blessing, and I didn't answer back a lot of people because um, because it was too much, too much, too much. I couldn't answer everybody, so I decided to go on the computer and um, go on the live and shout out to all my divas and the Dan them who send out. We have a lot of Dan who are mother and father, so um. I just come to shout out to you to let you know that I appreciate 
shout out from me people. So big up to all the people and all my Jamaicans, all my Guyanese, Haitian, African, and all my Grenadian. A shout out to all of them. So Queen Olive, not going to be here for long because I want to sleep. I want to sleep because I love too much listening to those music. I was trying I was trying to dance that music, but I don't know how to dance that music. I wonder if Izzy, Izzy, I wonder if you know how to dance that music. Izzy, I wonder if you know how to dance that music, that new music, that, that, that bus. <laughs> oh, Lord. So, it's okay. What is going on? I just asked somebody about LA today, and now I see LA is on live. So I don't know what Seven Star General is up to right now. So I know y'all gonna run over by Seven Star Seven Star General to see what is going on. Probably he get a little news flash or something. <laughs> Hello, me no know in at this. <laughs> no, me me no in at this. Yeah, man, you have to learn for dance and music. The middle child, the music. They want bad dance. I want bad bad dance. Okay, I'm looking forward to see you at my party. I'm looking forward to see the party because, you know, when everybody have party, everybody run for God the party because see how much people come at the party. But remember, I'm a party promoter, so I always have people at my party because, as I say, Facebook people, we act, we just know them. We are just acquaintance. We don't really know. We are just acquaintance. We don't even we don't know them face to face. I'm sure I know you, um, Patrick. Uh, a lot of these people that live all over the all over the world, like England, London, Paris, Jersey. Connecticut, North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, and all these places to live. So they're not going to be able to come. They're not going to be able to come. And some of them, there are a lot of them live in Brooklyn, New York, but they are not going to come because they don't really know you like that. And because of certain behavior, what these people behaving, people think that's when they come to the party, people is there and they're going to make fight and all kind of thing. No, that cannot happen. That cannot happen in New York. New York, it, I don't say it can't happen, but nobody can come to the party in Masha because he has, we have security. And the security, you have a bird outfit for the dance. Okay, okay, Izzy, we will see that. We will see that, Izzy, the bird outfit. <laughs> yeah, um, I have um, professional security at the party because the place that I rent, they have the security. So we don't have to worry who's going to come and... And thing the Jackie bless before I come, I need the sweet potato pudding, please. Okay, okay, lady. I don't know where you're living, so you could get the sweet potato pudding because I like I know a munchie yet. So with each time I bake the pudding, I have to go and bring munchie pudding. Yeah. Oh, oh, you said if you need to get a big bird um thing. No, because I said gold and white. No, you don't have to get a big bird outfit, uh, Izzy. When I say gold and white, is a theme of my party. Um, It doesn't matter what you wear because you're going to wear what you have. Yeah. I asked if I need a big, a big bird outfit for the dance. No, you don't have to have a big bird outfit for the dance. You don't. You wear whatsoever, but my theme of my party, it's, it's going to be gold and white. You don't have to wear gold and white. You could wear even the darkest color at the party. But your present is what we wanted at the party. So, you know, sometimes when, that, that is, that's why a lot of time people keep party and people don't come out to the party because it has a colored um code at the party. But you wear no guests from Canada. Yes, I have my, um, my Canada guests coming. <laughs> yes, um, we have our Canada guests coming. Yes, so <laughs> yeah, okay, <laughs> okay, easy. I got you now. <laughs> okay, easy. I got you. Did you hear the song, Izzy? Hi, Dennis. Um, uh, where is Tommy? Tommy is in, um, Canada, but, um, I don't, she's not coming to the party. 
She's not coming to the party, but I have guess some Canada coming to the party. Mm -hmm. I don't know where she at. <laughs> yeah. But I know I'm going to have a wonderful time because, you know, as I said, the Bible gives you three scores and ten. And I go my two scores. I will be 60, you know, so I want to. I'm going to do a very elegant affair party. I'm going to enjoy myself to the best of my ability. And I will get to meet some people who I never met before. I will get to meet them who's coming out to the party. Wish I am appreciating all who comes to the party. It's going to be lovely. And we're going to dance. We're going to dance to our oldies music. We're not going to dance to broke off the back until the end of the party. When the end of the party, we're going to do the contest. <laughs> Izzy's, got, Izzy's the one who is going to judge the people and who dance the best. And she's the one who's going to give the gift. Izzy, you're the one going to give the gift to the, to the people who the best dancer in broke off the back. <laughs> yep. So, good luck. Thank you all. You could go on my YouTube Yes, Izzy, you're going to judge because you're, you're the one who bringing the gift for the best dancer in Brook Off The Back. And we don't have no second. It's just the first one. The first one who win. There's no second and no third. Just one gift. Izzy's going to give that gift. Yeah. So you could go and watch me at uh, my YouTube page is Olive Holland. And then um, you could go on my Queen Olive page. And also you could go on my... Instagram Olive Ting um Tingle six 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 that's my Instagram and you could whoever didn't see my live or who wanna see we gonna have um the party is gonna be <laughs> poor poor you with what poor you with what is it poor people never say the poor never <laughs> oh yes <laughs> a lot of single dreads at the party yeah you know queen olive party always come with extras so ladies if you walk without nobody don't worry we have extras days louise big up yourself queen olive always have the excitement our party and the dance up thing i enjoy myself because you know we got one life to live we got to live our life how we choose to live we don't care who want to talk who jacks want to talk who want to do this we live our life how we choose to live it so easy make sure now you start um, choose the gift that you want to give them. When you call me later, you tell me what gift you're going to give them. <laughs> I'm going to keep my mouth closed. I'm not going to tell them what's the gift for the best. Broke off the back. <laughs> yep. <laughs> the dance them, they could do the, they could do the broke off back too. Yeah, they will get the, um, a, um, their, their gift also. Mm -hmm. But the party's going to be really, really, really good. You got, got my family members coming in from Jamaica, from Atlanta. They come in from Florida, you know, so you know, I'm the I'm the um the eldest for my mother and my mother have four of us and I have auntie, niece and nephews and all these things. So we so cannot come in, my dear. So, so cannot come in. So she's staying right over there in front. She's gonna stay on the phone when somebody doing live. I think Patrick's gonna do live or who gonna do live, but Queen Olive not gonna do live that night. Cause I'm gonna be there to um accompany my people who come to look for me and uh, um, show my divas and my dance and my family and my friends that we all grow together. We just show them a good time. So, you know, a lot of them I haven't seen them for a long time, so you know, everybody's coming to the party. Yeah, so we're going to have a lot of food there. Good food, good, good food. We're going to have a lot of food there for the party. So everybody, I'm inviting you all to come out and enjoy yourself with Queen Olive who choose to come. And um, if there's anyone choose to come to the party for the criticism, it is good too. Because some people do not know nothing better than to just walk and to hop from party and people having a good time to criticize and where there's nothing for them to criticize. If you even want to wear a 99 cent dress or shoes or skirt or whatsoever, you choose to wear what you want. But some people just talk because mouth, you see where your mouth make? Your mouth didn't make up like this. It come crossway like this. So these people likes to talk a lot. And then when you think about it, these are grown ass people. They are no children. Grown ass people walk around and let themselves be in a fool. Talking 
all kind of things like they don't have no sense they need some good is he got to give um is he i think you has to be a do, do this class for these people <laughs> oh, yes suki so says expense and um depends on the expense because she need need um ticket car and hotel so is it um, that is a suki what what you want we um what you want we to do everything or one of the thing one of the thing i know you have relative here and we uh, i can afford to buy the plane ticket so here what you do now um suki since as it, it's going to cost you all these expense all in all you got to do is send queen olive gift to her you could go on my paypal account and you know my paypal account is olive 587 at gmail.com so you could send with a gift and don't worry come after spend all those money because when you come and spend all those money you're not going to give no gift because you spend too much money to come to queen olive we still love you yep you know it's only um if you're gonna come is you know like special people like friends you know for a long time or relative you know they want to come to see me they will come but you know you don't have to put yourself out in all those expense to come here like is it is it have a um the ninth um 2018 <laughs> right is it have 2018 bmw so um is it will drive down Yes, she will drive down to the um from where she live into the party. I don't know where she live in, but she will drive down. She's come to the party. Yeah, and I'm gonna have a wonderful, wonderful time. So all my divas and my dan, who that coming to the party, and if you feel, if you feel like you wanna give me a gift, it is okay. <laughs> no, I have twenty seven um. 2017 mercy it is been i thought it was 18 easy or 20 <laughs> well it doesn't matter but you're coming to the party i know and i'm looking forward to see my divas come we um we made on the um the i've been do, here with your people and it seems like i know you all from a long long time i haven't met a lot of them but it's like i met them already because you know we talks we laugh we cries you know sometimes you know in the first beginning when i was there i used to talk and cry with a lot of people because when these people used to be disrespecting me but now i like hotel i don't like stay with anyone okay it's okay to each his own and sometimes you know you better you stay with some people than staying at the hotel and because the hotel that you want to stay you don't want to go at those motel you want a hotel and it's going to cost a lot like the marriott and all them thing it's going to cost a lot so feel free just send me my gift that's all thank you and you will see you will see the live and you will see the live you will see what's going on in the party so you could dance and show me that what you do you could dress up and take a picture in your nice clothes that you say i'm going to the party and enjoy yourself while other people watching yeah so people remember to be to take care of the kids and this children going to school tomorrow morning see that the shoes do not cut do not let them wear the sneakers that is going to get wet up that's when they go to school the food cramp see that everything is good with them put a little tin coat in them bag you know these kids don't want to wear a coat because they like it the weather when it's like this Put a little tin coat in them bag. That's if later on when they come in, they come in home, um, the type the weather change, and see that their shoes is good. They don't walk. They don't they walk into the water because, you know, if they in a warm place and then you go step in it's cold water because the water is not warm, you know, you can catch new moon or something. So, ladies, divas, and then and all the people them who don't have nowhere proper to go please do not disrespect the people them that you are staying with that they put you out because people put out people went time cold time winter time them time the people put out just like how the man did put out him back them and say me put him out the world and his wife no i never he wanted to go to florida to some lady so he didn't know that the florida he couldn't take a taxi to florida so when he realized he couldn't take a taxi to florida he have to put but he wanted to put by the things in and over put that he have to put me and the internet for talk this. So anywhere people staying with people, remember help do something. 
and participate in some sort of bill. Is either you take the gas bill or the light bill. Do something. Do not go to people's house and sit there and the money, wrap up the money in your hand and the other people to live to to pay in all the bills for you. That is not that is very much inappropriate. You have to do something because some people think when they come when they, they, they stay with you they're not supposed to pay nothing or help to pay nothing if you are working you need to help or go and get somewhere for yourself because you cannot live in people's house for free go and get a, a, a furnished apartment or go get a one bedroom and live and leave the people that they live by themselves because these are the people after they live with you and then they leave your house they go and put down judgment on you they talk all kind of bad things about you which doesn't go that way so sometimes you know sometimes some people coming up around you that is what my my this is my new idea now i am not taking nobody in my house i said i would pay the first month rent or i will pay the pay a night for a hotel for you and then you find your way out because these people when they when they come when they come around around you and they see you're living good and they feel like you shouldn't be living that way because some people feel like some people shouldn't live that way they should live it but if you don't make the footway and the trend away for you to get some to, to live comfortable and happy it will never happen because miracle doesn't perform like this there's not a place you're just gonna get up and walk go and live and they say well this is my place you have to pay when you live when you have a house you have to pay light gas um water tax all kind of thing you just don't live like that so sometimes it better off if you rent your place and live than to get a home because it's very expensive a lot of people love to live free yes those people you call them bird you hear them say bird fly and pitch anyway you miss it the other day mm -hmm. it looks so bad it looks so bad when you was a big timer and you have money you're rich and you're going back down from rich to rags mm -hmm. was a rich man and get down to rags that's a thing kill you out it kill you i win good night it's kill you to know you used to have money up there and now you don't have nothing so when you know that somebody else that you try they're trying to bring down is still up there and still maintaining themselves and good it hurt them so much they started to killing themselves because grudgeful and bad mind is a thing where you, you when you sit down and grudgeful and bad mind yourself you're killing yourself too because you, you instead of you're gonna start grudgeful and bad mind you're gonna start to say if you can start something for yourself and get something for yourself and live comfortable and a hate on people by hating on people and hating on people and then waiting on you to reach to that level you're not gonna go because you're you're maintaining just hatred in your heart you're not trying to maintain to get somewhere for yourself so a lot of people sitting down there and talking and talking and talking. They look, they make themselves being a nuisance. They make themselves look like the biggest fool in the whole entire world. You understand? Because they will never reach to the level. They don't see how things are going in the, in this world. They don't see how things are going in this world, especially in America. If they sit on welfare, and then when they sit on pound welfare and then decide to go buy a house, as them go. For the buy the house, welfare come in. You have to pay your mortgage and pay back welfare for their money. So ladies, for the, and ladies, if you don't have to go up on the welfare and leave it alone. Leave it alone if you don't have intentions to buy a house. And then not some of them when them have got the welfare, them with them have, them have got the welfare if you go look help, you know. Them got the welfare where Gucci, Gucci glasses, the most expensive clothes and nails, well done and thing. The people them have a hidden camera in them place or watch, you know. And say all one have on and thing there and deny you know. Hi Jenny's, how you doing? And they deny you because they must say, Look at um look at all these things that you have. They not tell you, you know. And you come in here to look welfare. Like I know a friend, she going to look welfare and she tell him that she's a um money she do money management or something. I don't know if she never have no sense and understand what is a welfare. You tell him you your your job is um financial manager. Yeah, financial manager. If you was a financial manager, you don't need to get welfare. You don't need to get it. They're not gonna give it to you. You have to look them dead in the name I make them look like say your your thing there. You, you, um, you don't have nothing 
just to get the help. Some people have luck, then go and they get it. Because some people have luck and them go out there and get it. You think so them go and talk the big this big talk when they go in there. Then go in there and talk the most saddest talk and the most lie then tell the people them if they don't have no intention to give them a say take it and go on. Yeah? So be careful of the things that we say about people and be careful of the things that we do towards people. Stop calling stop calling inspector and people. Stop calling ACS and people. Stop calling um gas light and everything and people because the same thing gonna bring it on because our God is a jealous God. You don't know Christine, big up yourself. Good night. Yeah, stop going and sitting down and have people calling other people because eh, the things that we have done is come back to haunt us. It come back to haunt us like a baby up here. Sometimes you see some things that happen to me in my life. You wonder why this thing happening to me? Why this? Why? Why me? Why me? Go back and go in your thinking cap and think about the things that you do to other people. Because what you're doing to people right now is a thing. It's a pattern. It's a pattern because it's just your friends have something and you don't have it. You're jealous of your friend. Eat and drink and talk with them. Sleep in the same bed and, and t with them. And then you go back and try to hurt them. Set people, other people. Look much things they say going on. This lady say her sister trying to kill her. Some of them son down Jamaica trying to kill them. Because you know, them, them, them have a pattern of people sitting down and giving them things. And when they can't get it, they how they want it. They feel like, so, well, me go kill them. When you kill them, what you going to get? Because if you kill, if them kill me or them take with the house and me or what them do, what them all get? Nothing. It's going to be entirely investigation. Them not going to get nothing. And they will not go call all who no one call and they might investigate. They are going to investigate you. Yeah. Yeah, they're going to investigate it because they're going to first they're going to say, um, what is the problem? What is this? And what is that? Why he did that? And so, that's a hate crime. If somebody wants to enter the country and them not have nothing, that's their business and your fastness. One of the fastness of people's business for. Try to get something and leave other people's business alone. That's why some people are stumble like stumbling block. You go time people say stumbling block gather no mass. Stumbling block gather no mass. Because them walk and make trouble, them walk and make trouble and little after you see them them there looking for help and don't know how to get it. How to get it because things and them are they are done. And these people are demon, demon possessing of them whole body. And they are looking for pity. And pity is a sin. Pity is a sin. Leave people business alone if it no bother if it no trouble, you know. Well, like our good little friend here. She 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 just she well, she says she come and do it for um all what she's doing, she's doing it for, for the for the media and for laughter and thing because I mean I don't see one one woman could tell a story. And every time she's telling the same story, she's telling it ten different ways. Hi, Louise, how you doing? They tell a story all different way. Because they come and say one thing and then go back and say another thing. So what we have to do, just laugh because, uh, you know, you have, um, when Christmas time we have, the, we call it Jankunu. And some people call them masquerade. Then dress up in all different kind of clothes and they dance and thing and give the whole district funds and everybody laugh and you get present and also some people are masquerade and some people are janko. No? They do things because they're looking for notice and recognition from other people. And then everybody just wants to see what this person doing. Everybody sending it all over. Look, this stuff, this is happening, all kind of thing. And they, and there's that person know exactly what is going to happen because they're looking for the numbers for them to make their money. And they're just making the money because the lady say, you can't go and share make our money. Because it's a hit music will just come out me and tell us. So. Everybody has to think that we're going to do that. We, I think we're going to get that music to play, at, to play at the party that we can create a dance for it. Mm -hmm. Yes, people. That's all for me for the night, my dear child. Till I'm ready for go do my cooking. In time I'm ready. I'm not in the mood for the cooking. You have to in the mood to do what you're doing. Anything at all in life you do you are doing, you have to have you have to be in the mood for that. Because as I'm saying, nobody can stop me from cook because this is my house. And I know I'm a clean person. I'm a very clean person. I'm an excellent person. 
I cleanse it till there is no tomorrow. So nobody's not going to stop me from cooking. But um, I'm not in the mood right now because I have a lot of, lot of things doing. Because, you know, it's that everything that's going on in my life are going to come on the computer and tell the world what is going on. So I have things doing. So I just put it on a pause for a little while until I'm ready to cook. Because all the cooks, them cook. All the best cook them. All the people them say they're the best cook in the world and I can cook my fingernail dirty, my hand dirty, my this, my that, and all them things. I am going to bed when I didn't get off. Yes, you know, they say all the things what they want to say and do, they're not stopping me because I got all my paperwork and put together for them. So, Akeem is here. Who was asking for Akeem? DeAndre was asking for Akeem. Yes, people, uh, the king is in the house. The king is in the house. Akeem is here. Everybody say hi, hi to Akeem. He is here. His name on the Facebook is Prim, Prince Akeem. He's no Akeem. No, he's not no Mr. Pierce no more. He's on the page. He just come up. I don't know where he was, what he was doing. Probably he was sleeping or probably he's coming from somewhere, coming from work. What time is it? So he just reached in. So one love. Big up all the, the, the London people. London, Paris, England. Big up all Canadian people. Yep. In the house, Montreal, big up everybody. Queen Olive say, I love you all. And um, Andre, the first time and the only time I was tired to get it, they tell me it was one dollar over and they tell me I am not qualified. Okay. You see, when, um, when you go to them, you have to know what to say because they ask you one question. One question they ask you. A million times when I when I was um um because apparently Kenny don't get welfare, she get disability. And when I was filling out that paper, these people asked me so much question. They asked me one question like ten different ways. They turn it around, and I do it so much of it. But I mean, I said I give the lady, and the lady said to me, said, "Come here." I said, "I'm tired of doing this paper because every time I do it, the paper they keep turning me down." And she said, "Don't worry." And when she and, and I she said, Okay, she do it for me and she said sign it. And I never have no problem until this this moment, until now. She's getting her disability. They asked me so much questions. I said, I tell you, I say, um in a, in a, in America every little thing you definitely put in a little blue lie or a little pink lie, you don't get nothing. They turn me down, they send me to um fear hearing, you know, when they send it to fear hearing, fear hearing is very good. You go and get it. You understand? But there's people out there need it. People out there need it. And those people out there need it. They are not getting it. They are giving it to the people who doesn't need it. They get their, Some of them get their um, the food stamp. They're selling it. Yeah. Some of them get it. They sell it. And they do all kind of thing. Big up yourself, everybody. I don't see... Um, Nisha, Miss Nisha Buckle, where are you? Big up yourself if you're on my page. Big up yourself. And I said, one love to the Georgia people. Yes, Atlanta people. Big up yourself. Connecticut, Bronx, Poughkeepsie, Poconos, all them people. One love to each and every one of my divas, my dance, my friends, my follower. Yeah. Do you anybody here if Gullibap do his interview yet? Because um apparently somebody went down to Jamaica to do an interview with Gully. Did anybody know if he do the interview? Okay, that's supposed to be a good interview. So we are, I wanted to see that interview. So if there's anybody when the interview is going on, please tag me to it, that interview, so I could see what is going on. And if things is going up to stand up. For him, and if things is going up back, as he said, he don't down in the gully, and he don't down um, Massachusetts. If it big up yourself, big up yourself, Massachusetts in the area, big up yourself. Yep, Colorado. Yep, all in place. Big up. Where is Christopher? I haven't seen Christopher for a little while. Christopher supposed to be coming here like next week because for the memorial weekend. Christopher going to be in town 
and I'm going to be behind Christopher. They like them little puppy dog behind Christopher going to this party and thing. Poor me, I got to get some time to rest for my party. But I'm going to be you with Christopher. Christopher, anyway, you big up yourself. Queen Olive said that. Love you, your wife, your family, everybody. And he will be here at my uh, my party. Yes, we having a lot of we having a lot of a dance coming up. Yep. Yep. So Angie, you no, know, I am just here. Same old. Okay, Akim, what is going on in your life? Akim, Akim is getting married. He proposed to anybody. Akim, you're getting married. Yeah, Akim. Where Akim is, he get cold feet. Suki, so, you see Akim? I'm asking if he's getting married. You know, Akim is going to um going to school. Um, I think it's next month. And we all wish him the best. And he goes to school. And remember, when you go to school, it's just cool. You go and go cool yourself. And just think about your study. Do not think about nothing, nobody. Do not get too friendly with people when you meet them. Because, you know, sometimes that is our great downfall. Meant we get too comfortable with people. And then we get too comfortable with people. Those are the people who... Um, carry down said Suki say congratulations to him and he's taking a major step in his life which is very good because you know the opportunities here in this country is just we have to take uh, make use of it because some people come in and there's opportunity but they come and hear about the system and they hear about the system so <laughs> they hear about the system so when they hear about the system they make themselves very easy and comfortable run on the system sit on the system and Sit down and wait for the month time for come. Then give them like a two dollar and three dollar. We I'm so proud of you, Akim. Continue to do what you what you're gonna do. And just remember, when you go to an interview, Akim, do not answer, do not say nothing until these people ask you a question. And when they ask you the question, you answer them on the question yes or no. Uh, if you answer them on the question yes or no, if you're going to say yes with an explanation or no with an explanation, you could say. But is it question asked yes or no? Just, hey, <laughs> Akim said, Marit, shake my head. Yeah, so when you go out to your interview, remember, just answer the question. Do not ask them no question because you are not interviewing them. They are interviewing you. And when he goes to the school, remember, do not take company. Do not have too much of a friend. Because if you have too much friend and too much free time, you're not going to master what you're going there to do. You're going to lay back. So enjoy yourself. Where is shame? Nobody don't say shame. Shame, what's, what's going on? Yep. Good night and love. Big up yourself to each and every one of my divas. Big up to America. And we say, God bless America. God bless America. A lot of us travel from our country to come here for better, but there's some of them come here for worse. So one love to all the people. One love to all my Guyanese, my Trinidadian. Yep, Saint Lucian, big up on yourself, Saint Kit. One love. We have a lot of people from different different country comes to this country, and some of them. They, 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 they get prosperity, things is good with them. Some of them, misfortune take them in life and they, things go bad. But, you know, to each his own. Sometimes we, we start off with an arrogant behavior and the arrogant behavior do not work in this country because when we just come here because of our country, we can do this and do that. We think we could do it here. No. So, something in school, no, 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 not me. Okay. Yes, Akim is intelligent. Of course, he is a young guy and looking for better in life. So he started and head away. Anybody, you're not too old or not too young to go to school. Big up on yourself, everybody. Big up all my family in Jamaica, my friends. And all the people who comes goes to my mother funeral, big love, big shout out love to you again. Appreciate it. And all the people, all my divas, my dan, and especially my divas who have children. God bless their home and let they have their children. It's a blessed thing for for we women 
to grow and have our mother and we said mama and we have someone to call us mommy or mama bless upon yourself and one love to each and everyone my children my four children my one great grand and my nine grandchildren big upon yourself god bless you all have an awesome awesome weekday coming tomorrow is wednesday is midweek wednesday so a lot of people goes to work if you feel like go during the midweek and take a drink for a little stress from the work it is okay but anything you do do not overdo it and remember do not text and drive and do not watch the show and drive because sometimes queen alice says something you don't laugh uh, uh, um she's doing our dance and hear people y'all could run over run over the lady is on. The lady is on. She's doing her song. <laughs> yeah, the lady is on and Ellie is on. So you can all go and go over because I'm wrapping up now. Hi again. Um, the angel here is um Akin is on the line. Yep, Akim is here. He just come on. You know, he's getting ready to go to college. He's gonna go do some schoolwork. Izzy, do not go and sleep yet. One love, respect to each and every one of my fellow people. I love you all. Have a wonderful weekend. Remember, it is raining. I don't know if it's going to rain tomorrow or what. Because, you know, we cannot, we, 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 the, the, red, the weatherman could say it's going to be rain and it's going to, because definitely today they say it's going to rain. I didn't believe until when I see it come down because it was so hot. So, respect. Bless. Love you all. Have a wonderful weekend. One love. One love. One heart. Let's get together and we all unite. Because one love. One heart. Let's get together. I'm going to be a singer too, you know. I'm going to be a singer. I'm going to do. I'm going to start singing too. And see if I could make some money. Because I think money in the singing business... Because I don't have the voice to sing, but you know, we could use the, 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 the instrumental singer. <laughs> good night, good night, good night, everybody. Has an awesome, awesome Wednesday morning coming up midweek. Enjoy, excuse me, enjoy yourself. Enjoy everything you do tonight. Enjoy it like there is no tomorrow. Because we know about today, but we don't know about tomorrow one love night night everybody peace love respect happiness good night my children my four children good night love you all and yes i get gift from doodle doodle give me her mother's day gift because you know she know nobody else but mommy and she know me and she's our little heart we love her love her so much yeah and my other children in georgia one love to them. And in Texas, my first lady down there with her children, I love them. Okay, Andrew, she's going to be the producer for my music. Oh, see, that's good. I'm going to sing. I'm going to sing. I'm going to sing, sing, sing. Yeah. Yes, last night was, um, last night they didn't have the, um, the live show with Tad Waljan. It, it was postponed last night. So, Panko, big up yourself. Big love. I can call you tomorrow, Panko. Yep. So we say, we respect people over here because we are diva. We are diva. We are inspirational women. We are anointed women. And we love people. And remember, the party is going to have extra, 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 extra everything about that. One love, peace, happiness. I'm going to see which picture of Facebook they're going to put up with me. Because Facebook likes to put up picture when we're talking and... The ugly picture. But anyhow, I know I'm a beautiful woman. I'm a beautiful woman. I'm a woman of God with my lovely four children and with my golden heart and heart of giving. But some people doesn't know when people treat them good. They try to take advantage of the situation. But I learned my lesson in the hard and the tough way. But you know something? I don't... I don't, I don't, I'm not fretting over that because, you know, something, so many people in the whole world know me because of them, because they thought they was doing me something bad. They didn't know they was doing me something good. Thanks to all the people who cursed me out. 
I am here looking down on you. A lot of them want to come on the page, but they're shame. But it's no problem. Good night. Love you. Kenny? Yeah. Bedtime. It's bedtime now. Good, good night. Good night. Good night. Love you all. Bye-bye.